All right, welcome. Uh, in this video, we will take a look at this CR or RC configuration. Really, essentially, the R and the Cs are in series, and we are looking at the voltage across the resistor. Again, we want to look at the frequency response of this particular circuit. So we're interested in finding out how does the output voltage react as we put in input voltage of varying frequency. Okay, so that's what frequency response is. So again, uh, we'll start out by trying to come up with the transfer function for this particular circuit. In order to do that, let's write down the impedance of the capacitor. So impedance of the capacitor is equal to 1 over j omega c. The capacitive impedance and the resistive uh, impedance, those two are in series with each other. So by voltage divider, we can write down that the V out is equal to uh, the resistor divided by resistor plus the impedance of the capacitor times the V in. And now if we rewrite this, we can say that V out over V in equals R over R plus the capacitive impedance, G, R plus GC. Uh, this right here, if V out over V in, is by definition the transfer function. So if we uh, substitute the impedance of the capacitor, we get R divided by R plus one over J omega C, right? So let's, uh, uh, use algebra to simplify this just a little bit so we can write this as r over r j omega c plus one divided by j omega c uh, so this can further be written rewritten as j omega r c on the top divided by one plus j omega rc on the bottom okay so this is what we have so far now we have the transfer function of the uh, rc circuit with uh, voltage across the resistor and if you take a look at this this transfer function again has magnitude and the phase angle so if i write down the magnitude of h i can write this down as the top part the magnitude, uh, the top part doesn't have a real term, only the imaginary term. So the magnitude of this is square root of omega RC whole square divided by the bottom part is square root of one plus omega RC whole square like this. Uh, simplifying this, I end up with omega RC on the top, square root of one plus omega RC square in the bottom. So that happens to be the magnitude of this transfer function. And the angle of this transfer function, function angle of H equals angle of the top minus the angle of the bottom. Okay, so the angle of the top, in this case right here, angle of the top is uh, there's no real term. So the only term is in the imaginary axis. So the angle of that is essentially 90 degrees so the angle on the top is equal to 90 degrees angle on the bottom right here it has both the real and the imaginary term so the angle is given by arctangent of uh, omega rc divided by one which is the same as saying 90 degrees minus arctangent of omega rc so that it becomes the phase angle of the transfer function right here. Now, we saw in our video of the RC circuit where we looked at the voltage across the capacitor, we saw that the transfer function magnitude uh, caused the circuit to act as a low pass filter. Now let's look at just, we'll focus on this uh, particular circuit just on the magnitude portion and see what would happen to the magnitude of the transfer function as I put in signals on Vn starting at DC and moving towards a really high frequency of infinity. So let's do that next. Okay. So, the, so I've copied the transfer function right here. Now uh, let's take a look at what happens again. So let me draw the, we'll just focus on the magnitude response. So at zero, look at what if omega 
cutoff frequency and we'll look at what happens if omega is equal to infinity a really big number so if omega equals zero so omega so i'm just create a small table here is omega equals zero now what happens see so if i replace omega equals zero the top part goes away so zero rc zero divided by some number is basically zero so uh, the magnitude of the transfer function at omega equals zero or this is called dc the magnitude is equal to zero the magnitude of the transfer function is zero that means the output voltage is equal to zero so let's see what happens if omega is equal to rc so omega equals rc so if it's equal to sorry one over rc let's try one over rc so if omega equals one over rc so if omega equals one over rc what happens to the top one over rc divided by rc so if omega equals one over rc i get the magnitude of the transfer function is equal to uh, 1 over rc times rc on the top whole divided by square root of 1 plus 1 over rc times rc squared so this leaves us 1 on the top and square root of 2 in the bottom so this will be 1 over square root of 2 1 over square root of 2 now in the last video when we were talking about low pass filters we defined the uh, the cutoff frequency and the cutoff frequency was essentially the frequency at which the output voltage is equal to one over square root two of the maximum voltage possible okay and in this circuits uh, the maximum voltage possible is going to be equal to one so one over square root two is actually the the magnitude where the frequency omega equals one over rc is then the cutoff frequency okay so the cutoff frequency is one over root two and what happens as omega becomes a really large number so let's see if omega is a really large number see what happens omega is a really large number we have a very big number on top and at the bottom same thing so one added to the square of a really big number is a really big number squared take the square root of that and we are back at a really large number so a really large number divided by a really large number is essentially equal to one so as omega becomes infinity the magnitude gets closer and closer to one so in this case look at the circuit what is this doing so let's draw this okay so at omega equals zero so that's here okay May this is the magnitude in this case we'll only draw the magnitude and ignore the phase for now omega equals zero zero at omega equals omega c which is this is defined as omega c uh, frequency which is 1 over rc that became 1 over root 2 so if this is 1 then let's say 1 over root 2 is right here that's 0 0.707 so it, it's right around here and at omega equals 1 that omega equals uh, infinity so right around here infinity it's equal to 1 so really what's happening is A circuit that does that essentially what that basically means is for lower frequencies for low frequencies right here okay so low frequency is right around this task so that's low frequency uh, the circuit essentially has output voltage that is attenuated or is very very small compared to the input so the inputs of lower frequencies cannot make it to the output in a, a reliable uh, or, or, or discernible uh, manner however after the cutoff frequency the the output voltage is e uh, is equal to the input voltage because the magnitude of the transfer function becomes equal to one so now if you really think about what kind of frequencies are being seen at the output and what are not being seen at the output we see that the higher frequencies are being seen at the output so this is called a high pass filter This is called a high pass filter. And in general, if we think about filters, so in the in the when we drew a circuit with this kind of configuration and looked at V out, we saw that this was a low pass. When we drew a circuit with this kind of configuration and looked at the voltage across the resistor, we saw that this is called a high pass. Ideally, low pass filter magnitude would look like this. So it would have all the low frequencies up to the cutoff frequency pass and then abruptly drop off 
and not pass any of the filters. Similarly, ideally, our high pass filter would not allow certain frequencies to pass up to a cutoff frequency and then abruptly allow everything else to pass. But in real life, we saw that the frequency was more rounded. Okay, that was a real. So this is real and that's ideal. Okay, and similarly, in our case for the high pass filter, we see the same kind of deal. So that's real, that's like a more S shaped. And the abrupt is the ideal frequency. So looking at the voltage across the resistor versus voltage across the capacitor for the same circuit can give you a low pass filter or a high pass filter.